Hello everyone, Madhusudan Raj. This is 38 October 2012. And today I want to discuss two major uh, policy related issues. Uh, today, uh, uh, RBI, the Reserve Bank of India, announced its sec second quarter review of monetary policy. And uh, many people were expected that RBI will lower its uh, primary lending rate, that is um, uh, bank rate, but they did not do that. Uh, but instead of that, they kept the repo rate and reverse repo rate as it is. Uh, and uh, instead of that, uh, they lowered the credit reserve ratio by 25 basis point from 4.50% to 4.25%. And by doing that, they injected total 17,500 crore rupees into the Indian financial system, and basically into the Indian economy. Uh, the RBI Governor Subbarao uh, is saying that managing inflation and inflationary expectation remains the primary focus of the monetary policy. He said that uh, persistently high inflation remains a key challenge, even though growth has slid. So. Subbarao since quite long is saying that he wants to fight inflation and inflation is his major, is his major concern and for that he is not uh, reducing the interest rate even though uh, growth numbers are faltering but as I said in my past uh, you know, analysis also that instead of looking at what uh, RBI governor is saying we need to look at his action you know we have to analyze what actually he is doing so he wants to manage inflation he wants to contain inflation he wants to manage inflation expectation but on the other side he is actually creating inflation by reducing CRR by 25 basis point he injected 17,500 crore rupees of you know new money supply into the Indian economy and and you know that this is inflation increasing the supply of money out of thin air money and credit out of thin air is inflation so on one side Subbarao is creating inflation and on the other side he is saying that I want to manage inflation and I want to manage inflation expectation there is there is no relationship there is a contradiction between what he is saying and what he is actually doing he is basically fooling people Right, this this injection of seventeen thousand five hundred crore rupees is only going to result into higher prices in future, you know, and uh, because people will see that the prices are continuously rising, inflation expectation will not be managed. People will expect the prices to go up in future also because they are going to rise because of this injection of seventeen thousand five hundred crore rupees when this newly you know new money will enter into the economy as I'm saying since quite a long time it will reduce the price of money it will reduce the purchasing power of every note and coins which are circulating right now into the economy it will buy less your your fiat note will buy less and less you know amount of economic good which is available in the economy right now so it is just going to increase the price in future this is this is not going to manage inflation even if you want to manage it instead of just completely removing it this is just creating of inflation so as I said uh, uh, Subbarav is hypocrat and he is just fooling all of us okay the second issue which I want to discuss today with you is that uh, with this you know before this before this announcement of um, second quarter review of monetary policy, Chidambaram was pressurizing RBI governor that he reduced the bank rate. Uh, he said that the government is doing its work by you know consolidating the fiscal deficit. He announced uh, you know roadmaps for fiscal consolidation about which I'll just discuss in a while. And uh, he's saying that now we have done our work, now RBI should reduce you know their price. Uh, Subarao did not do that. Although he did, you know, inject 17,500 crore rupees, saying that it is going to support the financial markets. You know, it's going to take care of the tight liquidity situation. As I said, we don't have any problem of liquidity; we have a problem of solvency. But in any case, now uh, Chidambaram is saying that uh, government will have to do, you know, will have to take care of growth on its own. You know, they will have to work alone. It's all ridiculous. Government cannot increase growth. You know, they can only retard growth. But in any case. What kind of fiscal consolidation Chidambaram is planning, you know, nothing much is happening over there also. As I said, you know, 
just like you know RBI governor Subara Chidambaram is also saying something and doing something as in fact he's doing exactly opposite to what he's actually saying on one side he wants to bring down the fiscal deficit so how he wants to bring down the fiscal deficit not by slashing the spending on all the fronts drastically not by reducing government expenditure drastically uh, for example by closing some of the bureaucratic departments removing all the regulation and interventions stopping all the so-called social welfare activities and then cutting down the expenditure and then balancing the budget in this short run instead of cutting the expenditure what he is doing is he is trying to increase the revenue side he is saying that they are going to you know do some kind of they want to talk about the goods and service tax now and they also want to see the uh, direct cost you know direct tax measure so a direct tax code he want to you know have a quick review of those things and goods and service tax so he's saying that by doing this, he is going to increase the revenue. He also wants to wants to disinvest, you know, some of the public sector units, and by that he wants to raise some money, which can increase government revenue. And on the expenditure cutting side, he is just <clears throat> it's just a lip service. He's saying that on the expenditure front, it suggests rationalization of scheme and strict control and monitoring of expenditure. Nothing concrete over there. No major, you know, specific step that how they are going to reduce expenditure. All the efforts are in the direction of increasing the revenue. That means more more burden on taxpayer, right? This is how they are going to uh, reduce the fiscal deficit. This is not going to reduce the fiscal deficit. If they will not stop spending, then the fiscal deficit will keep on widening. And as I said, in the end, what will happen? The government will default on their promises, you know, whatever the promises they have made to the bondholder, those people who are buying this government debt, this toxic debt of government. <clears throat> so, again, Chidambaram is saying something and doing something else. They don't want to consolidate any kind of, you know, fiscal deficit or any, no fiscal deficit, you know, redu reduction measures are being taken here. It's just, it's just talk, it's just lip service. And it looks like that in the end, uh, the whole system will crash and only then things will start to correct. You know, when the government will go, go broke, right, only then they will stop spending. And when the monetary system will, you know, <clears throat> collapse in India, will be, you know, in chaos, only then RBI will stop money printing. So the end looks like that it's gonna, it's gonna run its own course and, you know, government and the RBI, the central, you know, bank is not going to voluntarily stop wrecking the economy in the end the market forces will overwhelm them and they will compel them to stop doing whatever they are doing so you people out there you have to just you know <clears throat> take care of yourself because inflation is being created by rbi government is not going to stop you know their spending they will continue to meddle with the economy they will continue to distort the production and capital structure of our economy they will continue to waste our precious resources so the end result will be higher prices and boom bust cycle. So as I said, the, the economic storm is coming in future. You guys stay safe over there. Continue to pile up, you know, your gold and, you know, silver. Continue to buy that. Accumulate your precious metal and stay safe, safe with it. Don't put it into the banks because they will lease it out to somebody else. And just, you know, stay prepared for higher prices and all kind of economic chaos in future. Alright, so these two issues, you know, two major economic, you know, policy related issues which I wanted to discuss with you today. I will come back pretty soon, you know, with uh, a discussion of, you know, some issues related with corruption and another major issue, you know, another major question, you know, kind of a social dominant uh, meme which is going on in Indian society that whether honest you know young people should join politics many people are thinking that if young people will join politics then that will that will make politics better and that will you know be helpful in running the government in an efficient way and that will you know lift the indian you know economy out of all these problems and that will make india great again i want to i want to throw some light on this kind of you know thinking uh, that i will be doing in future so stay tuned i'll be back soon with that analysis uh, right now, I'm just, you know, signing off. Thank you very much for watching me. Goodbye.